Welcome everyone. My name is Kelly Vincent, coming to you live from Scottsdale, Arizona. I'm glad you're here for the team training tonight. Oh, I guess I muted out the call. There we go. All right, now we're good. Everybody's muted. So listen, um, there's a couple things. The, the main thing that I want to talk to, talk about tonight is the timing of APL Go. And I, I think people don't realize like how important timing is and what it can do. And I'm going to give you an example of timing. Uh, back in the early 90s, there's Microsoft and Apple, right? They're kind of brand new into the market. You could buy shares at Microsoft and Apple for a couple bucks a share. Pretty inexpensive. Um, they didn't know how big it was going to go because it was back then. Nobody could totally tell the future. But, you know, what are those shares worth today? Um, you know, I know that Apple got up to $2,000 a share. Uh, you know, you could buy those shares. They're still good stock. But do you think by waiting until they get to 2000 a share, that's a good investment in today's world? Well, some people may shake their head like it's a steady investment, but the people that bought them at $2 a share are definitely cashing in as opposed to the people today that are buying, buying them at $2,000 a share. And it could be, it fluctuates, but I'm, I'm just guesstimating here from the last time I looked. And, you know, that's, that's what the thinking needs to be when you're thinking about this company and where you were at at the team, because it, here's the thing, there's two different things you could do. You could take advantage, the first mover's advantage of being in early and make stuff happen quite fast. And that's gonna pay off. So here's what I want you to do. I'm gonna draw this on my own pad. I asked you guys to get some scratch paper and I'm gonna just have you draw this. It's very simple, looks like a bullseye. All right, if you all just take a minute and draw that on paper, because I want to drive this home. And this was explained to me by an owner of a company back in 2013. And I didn't quite get it um, until he explained it to me. I'm like, well, what is that? You know, closest to the center of the ripple is what he said. And I also learned this in all my years doing this is, you know, most people join a movement once it's already steadily moving, right? So, you know, uh, all those fidget spinners, does everybody know what those are? They're a couple years back, it's little things that you twirl in your hands. I didn't see any point to them, but apparently they were made for kids to help them learn faster, to have something to do while they're learning for ADHD or something like that. And, you know, you, you heard, I heard once, you know, about a fidget spinner. I didn't know what it was. And next thing I know, every picture on Instagram was a fidget spinner. Like, I couldn't get away from them. And, like, it just everybody was jumping on board the fitness pictures, like Beanie Babies back in the day. You know, there's a couple Hallmark stores had them, and then, like, everybody had them. Um, but the people who, you know, had them first are the ones that cashed in because they're the first ones to do it. Same with the fidget spinners. All right, you don't hear some of those things anymore, but like it got pretty big pretty quick. You know, they got pretty creative with some of the ones they were making, but um, you know, most people join a movement once it's already steadily moving. And at that time, that's when the shares are gonna cost you the most, when it's already moving. So yes, um, Here's what I could say about APL Go. It's, a, it's as of the 11th of this month, it's a nine year old company that's been steadily growing uh, successfully, adding zeros every single year to their bottom line, um, doing extremely well. Uh, so they have a track record, a steady track record of growth. It, could, it crescendos up, right? It, just, it keeps going up, it's a ski jump. Uh, and that's a good sign. So when you're mitigating risk for a company, 
which is what I do before Tina and I look at any company. I look at all the, hmm, what are some of the possible saboteurs? What are some of the things that could go wrong that are just common sense things to ask when, before you make an investment, whether it's money, time, or energy? What are those things that I could ask and find out right now today to mitigate the risk? Right, so when I do that, I think of, okay, who's the payment processor? Is the company a US-based company? You know, which bank are they using? Right, because, you know, people, oh, well, this bank's paying out. Yeah, but banks get hacked. They have. We have been in companies where it's mostly overseas, and suddenly the payment processor got hacked, and it's all over just like that, done. So because of that mistake, I learned, hmm, always ask the question, of who's the payment processor so that I can mitigate the risk of, well, if it's, if it's outside the US, then hmm, there's a highly, it's gonna be highly likely that something could happen to it because it's happened before and that's a smart thing to ask. But just like anything that you do that you're gonna invest in, you wanna look at what are the things that can take it out of the game? What are the things that can happen that you can mitigate before you commit to that company. Well, uh, I, did, I have a whole checklist of things I go down. Who's the owner? Who's the, does anybody else have the product? Does, it, does anybody making this same product and selling it for less anywhere else? Is the company gonna buy the rights on eBay and Amazon so that nobody gets to sell it on that? Which they did. Are they going to, allow people to open up stores, you know, uh, retail stores and just sell it out of the store. There's all kinds of questions you can ask that despite your excitement, you want to know ahead of time so you can mitigate risk. Now, what after doing that, which, you know, we sat down with Sergi, the owner, we asked questions. And when he came out and visited us and sat down with us and we went over the, all these things, um, at that point in time, when you can mitigate most of the risk, because there's some unforeseen things, breakdowns that happen in any business, I don't care what it is. It just happens, it's called business. There's just like, if there could be a, you know, category 10 storm that wipes out, you know, some country that provides all the nutrients or you know, for the plant that can't get shipped or whatever. There's things that happen um, all over the, the globe that you can't predict, you know, that has to do with weather. It's just, you can't predict, but you can predict most things that are common sense. And once you do that, at that point in time, that's when you want to put yourself in a position to go for it. And it, it, it baffles my mind. And that's why I had you all write this down right here because I call this closest to the center of the ripple. Now, if you drop something in water, it drops right here and then there's a ripple effect and it keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger, whether it's in a lake, whether it's in your bathtub, whether it's in your pool, it looks like this, it keeps going out and growing and get bigger. Well, I'm just here to tell you we are right here in the US. So that black dot is us. And that's where all of us have the privilege of being right now. And what's important about that is we're the first ones to launch this in the US, Canada, Mexico, Australia, South America, and every country behind it, right? Um, I know UAE, Israel, and you know, possibly Asia next year. Uh, that's all coming behind us. But right now, there's a huge market in the US. There's a reason people like to be in the US. It's a big market. Uh, same with Canada. Uh, and same with Australia. So we're at the center of this gigantic ripple that's going to happen. And I just want to show you how important and the advantage we have. Now, uh, when I ask people, you know, do you want to come in after I've already enrolled a thousand people 
onto the team and be on the bottom of a thousand? You want to be the thousand and first person? Or do you want to be up there in the top five? Right? And everybody just kind of nod their head and understand like, okay, you want to be up there in the top five, right? Because you get why you would want to be in the top five because you're going to have 995 people below you on your team if that when that happens so when i say do you want to be right here or would you rather start when you're right here because if you when you start with you're right here and this is what an owner showed me you're going to have he said it's 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 called the pie that you're going to own a piece of and when you start here you're literally at some point in time and you work this you're going to own a piece of the company because of what's going to happen from this point starting point right here because you're literally at the center of this gigantic uh ripple that's going to happen all across the us canada australia all these different countries and it just makes me boggles my mind why some people are just sitting there they're just sitting there there's people coming in today and i get here's the first question am i too late is there enough time to to make this happen and is is there you know is it over like they asked that of course it's not we're not i mean we're not even a blip on a map yet but it's it's i related to buying two dollar stocks shares in apple and would you rather buy them at two dollars or two thousand dollars who's going to make more money who's going to do better simple question but so you know tina and i when we look at this this position which we haven't been in you know too many times um we've come in at the bottom out here before and we've made quite a splash before but it, it's the effort is much more because if you're starting out here this these lines keep these lines keep getting bigger boy i'm trying to draw this straight these lines keep going and if you're starting out here all right your sliver is going to be like this and i'll color it in here and just based upon timing that's what your sliver looks like right there. So would you rather this big piece of the pie here, right here, or this tiny little one? Because that's, what that's what's gonna happen years from now. Um, could be even a year from now. The way this thing is growing, it could, it could be like that. When we hit real momentum, here's what that looks like. And this is why I'm imploring all of you to do what you have to do to do just a little bit more, to, to take and sacrifice just a little bit more of your time so you can get a little bit more done every day because it's gonna make a difference. And because when momentum hits, do you want uh, 500 people on your team, uh, you know, out there uh, where people are begging to find somebody that will sign them up. So if this hasn't happened to you, then please, I'm asking you to take my word for it because it's happened to me. And that's where you're in a position because remember, most people join a movement when it's already moving, right? So all the people have cut through the jungle, they've done all the, the heavy lifting, but they also get the most reward because everybody that comes after them pays a tax to that road that they built. And so, when when that happens are you going going to you know want 10 people on your team or 500 because the, what have I, i've experienced before is people will seek you out instead of you know that right now yeah i know this happens to none of you right now nobody has experienced this so you know like when you're calling somebody up and they blow you off and they're like oh another what what really you know, I don't know. I just see I'm watching the game. Can, you know, I, I, I'm not sure. I got to talk to my wife, you know, or my husband, or I'll get back with you next year and we'll see if we're up to it. 
I know none of that happens to you. Um, because it happens to me often, even now. But that's the hard part, right? Because we're announcing this to the world. And when you're doing that, you're going to run into some detractors. People are like, okay, I've never heard of this company before. Who are you guys? What are these little candy things? Is this a joke? I mean, what, what's happening? And do they really do what they say they're going to do? Because they haven't had agreement yet. An agreement is when you see articles like business from home that just put out a ton of articles on APL go on Sergi, And now because they did that, what happens is it's getting agreement out there in the network marketing world. Cause it goes all, all out to network marketers who subscribe to business from home. Um, and people are starting to notice, wow, we just jumped from 63 to 21 on the momentum list. That's pretty heavy. That's a huge, uh, huge jump. And by the way, we may, we, the company pays out 63 cents on every dollar. And the next one closest to that is 51 cents. Hmm, people are just gonna take notes of that. Now they're not gonna like jump for joy and, and start looking you up and calling you like you want them to, um, that happens later. That happens when we hit momentum because what it's ramping up. So right now it's just ramping up like a wave out in the ocean. It starts, it looks like a little bump. Then it starts coming in and it starts building momentum and it starts gathering bigger. And then all of a sudden it comes up and it crashes down. That's what's happening. But the wave is way out there right now. And by the time it gets here, you want to be in the best position possible uh, to capture all those rewards coming your way when that happens. So when they say that the overnight millionaire status and income results, they're not joking. It happens. So in, let me give you an example of that. And I, I don't know if I have the authority to say this yet, but there's a new product that they're going to launch in about nine days on, at the convention. So nine to 10 days, they're gonna show the new product they're bringing here. And let's say that you had a thousand people on your team and that product is a hundred bucks just for make it easy. The product that are announced is a hundred bucks. There's a thousand people on your team that are all distributors. And what do we always say? Be a product of the product, right? And so, you know, you may not like the product or use it for yourself or whatever, but at least try it once so you know what it is and you've experienced it. So you can, you know, tell people about your experience of that product, right? We're, we're doing that right now with the drops. I don't take all the drops, but I've experienced them all. Um, I've tried, I've tasted them all. And, and I stick to about six or seven. And they're almost the opposite of what Tina likes. But the same thing. So you have a thousand people on your team. This new product's a hundred bucks and it's 63 cents on the dollar, right? You guys could do the math on your notepads right now. 63 cents on the dollar. You have $10,000 um, overnight. No, wait, hold on. Let me do the math myself. So you got a thousand times hundred thousand. I knew that was wrong. It's three cent. So that paycheck could be $63,000 overnight. Just like that. One product. Just because you had a team in place and something, they introduce something new. And then what happens is they go out and share that product let's say half, let's say to 500 people. And then you got more product orders. And those 500 people go share it to two people, there's another thousand people. So it went like this, and then, and then we have this on top of it. And the next thing you know, we're in momentum. And so I came on here tonight because, you know, I don't like to you know, do flashy cards or, or even, uh, uh, PowerPoints or anything like that. I just want to implore you to 
know that now, right now, is the best time to take action and make sure you're doing whatever needs to happen. And, and you know, and set, setting aside, I call it, you got to sacrifice a little bit. But, you know, it, it's, not, it's not every single day. The first 90 days of anybody's business is the most important. Um, that's when people generally do the most work. And then it starts taking a life of its own. That's what we all want, right? It's called residual income that you pass it on. It duplicates. You, you know, you keep duplicating what you're doing. So you're not doing all the work. That's the whole point. It's everybody doing a little bit that can earn you a ton of money. And so if you're thinking, well, I'll just wait. Maybe, um, maybe people will just call me and I won't have to reach out to anybody and they'll just call me up and say, I want to be on part of the team and I want to buy your product. I mean, does that just, that probably just makes people feel good to hear that. Because wouldn't that be great? Like you start, you start your, your business and next thing you know, your phone rings and you didn't even reach out to anybody. They're like calling you already. That's going to happen, by the way. It's going to happen. And it's going to happen when momentum hits. And because that's where everybody's scrambling to find people to sign up with. And if you're not making a splash out there and getting your name out there, and listen, we've been in a whisper campaign um, and that's kind of lifted a little bit more. It's just so hard to control. Um, you know, the big request was to not put APL go or your link on there. Um, so people know what it is. And we did that for your benefit so that people would ask you what it is you could build a little bit of relationship or rapport with that person without giving them all the goods up front so they could look at it or make up their mind quickly and then go shop for a sponsor because that happens right so you you want to be we're in marketing and in marketing you have to create curiosity that's our job that's all we do it's show and tell look look what i got and this is what happens when you take it. And this is my experience. Who could do that? All right. I think everybody on here could do that. We all did it in Giddy Garden. You brought your pet snake, your pet, you know, uh, frog in the school. Look at my pets. And look, and it looked, I'm going to feed it now. And it's going to eat. And look at this, what happens. And you can hold it and experience it. Isn't that cool? We all did that. That's what we're doing right now. That's as simple as it gets. Now, it's us that make it harder by making up that we got to be a scientist or a doctor. Or we have to know every little ingredient, product, process, how it was made, the temperature, the heat it was cooked at, the, you know, what kind of centrifuge was it? Was it a, the eight inch barrel or the 12 inch barrel? Like, I don't even know that. You know, it just goes to show you that you don't have to know any of that stuff um, to do well at this because I don't. I don't even want to learn it. I don't even want to find out all about the science. I, because I, I know if I did, I would probably misspell it or, or miss say it, say it wrong and, and, and not get it right. I mean, Tina is pretty brilliant when she gets on here and starts talking every time she gets better and better at it. Um, but I, I can't duplicate that. And most people can't either, but it's just show and tell. So you can't say it wrong to the right person uh, because if you put a drop in their hand, you tell them, hey, just suck on this for a minute and tell me what you think, and then I'll tell you what it is. Um, and trust me, don't worry, it's 100% organic. It's not, not, you know, there's no marijuana in there, because <laughs> some people ask that now. Um, you don't have to worry about any of this stuff. Just listen, just do me a favor, try this out. And that's all we did on Friday night. And, you know, we had 80 people trying the product. It was pretty simple. I stood at the door. Hey, welcome to the party. Oh, by the way, before you go in, you want an immunity drop? Oh, sure. Great. All right, thanks. Hey, later on, I'm going to ask you about what you thought about it. And if you have any questions, I can answer. Okay, sounds easy. That was it. That's the sale, right? That's my show and tell. I didn't say, oh, by the way, this is made in Mon Moldova, and they, like, there's these botanicals in there they the lightning strikes them and then they heat them up and they they put them together there's like one gram of sugar and don't worry and i didn't say any of the details i just showed them the stuff put it in their hand i'm gonna hold out your hand put this in pop
popped it in their hand, and they put it in their mouth. That's it. So the only people that make this harder is you, right? You're the only one making this harder because it's really that easy. Then when people get stumped up is, well, once I do that, what do I say? Would you like to order a box for yourself? You said you liked it. Or what are two of your biggest health concerns? Oh, well, I have respiratory. Hey, I have a drop for that. It's called ALT. Or I can't sleep. Oh, hey, I have a drop for that. It knocks you out. It's like a sledgehammer right at your bed and you're knocked out. That's how well I don't say that. All right, I'm, I'm exaggerating now. <laughs> but for me, that's what it feels like. <laughs> like I'm just out. Um, so getting back to where we're at with the timing here, and I'm just, if you, you guys have heard me before, I'm pretty right up front about everything and maybe even a little in your face. And it's not because I'm a dictator or I, I want to tell you what to do or you're doing it wrong. It's no, it's just because I know and I am 100% certain about what's coming. And what I'm mostly concerned about is everybody being prepared or in a position to receive all the good stuff that's coming your way because it's coming. That I have not seen a company like this in a decade and that, that it literally has the entire puzzle solved on, on all levels. Like they literally have it together. It, it can't get any simpler than the product and you know, well, the comp plan has it's got so many facets to it, but still it's paying, things are working and they're listening and we've got tons of support at the corporate level. Um, and I'm, it's not perfect. It's not just like every company, just like everything I've ever done in my life. There is no perfect. But it is great that, that they're constantly working to make it perfect. Um, and I have personal knowledge of that when Sergi calls us and says, hey, you know, what do we need to work on? How can we make this better, eat faster, easier? That's a new experience for us. But the timing part is I, because I'm seeing some people either hold back or they just don't understand what's in front of them. And that's why I, I'm really going, making a big effort to have everybody get the timing of this because I don't want anybody to regret saying, oh, I wish I should have, could have, you know, worked a little harder and been in a better position because look at all these people that are just cashing in. And it's like, man, now I feel like I'm just getting started because if you wait, if you don't take advantage of this, then it's kind of like starting out here anyway, right? Because right now, it's, it, you have everything right in front of you to achieve that income that you're looking for. Now, you know, most people, uh, my favorite line, and it, it, it's not a line. My favorite thing that people say is, well, I'm not in this for the money. <laughs> Okay, let's just say you're not. You're in it to help people then. And I guarantee you that if you had a boatload of money, you can help a lot more people. So you don't have to call it money, you can just call it helping people, whatever, it still comes in dollars and cents. Um, you're able to help a lot of people, you know, with what you're earning. You can donate it, I don't care what, whatever it is, but you can do, put yourself in a position to help others if it's not about the money for you, because then truly it is about helping others. But, you know, uh, everything costs, <laughs> even charities, you know, they cost them to run. So, but I'm going to assert that most people want to experience a payday that they've never seen before. And it, it, the, the best thing that can happen for Tina and I is for you guys to experience that. And all I could say is I've been hooked in this industry from the moment I realized 
I, when, when I, it, I literally had this epiphany after working probably 80 to 100 hour weeks, which I don't even, looking back, I don't know how I did it. It was 14 plus hours a day, working my body into the ground doing construction um, or being active duty. Didn't, either one of those, it was a lot of work. And at the end of it, after I'm busted up, and my health is bad and you know i haven't seen my kids in forever uh i thought man it's got to be something that's got to be easier than this this is i can't do this and you know th there's no way i could do the, keep doing this at the level i'm doing it and i'm still barely getting by um when i made my first month's worth of income doing that in one day doing this that's when I felt like a genius. Cause I, I literally felt like a, I won the lottery. Cause I instantly went, oh my gosh. And one day I made like a whole month's worth of income. And I wonder if I were, you know, if I could do like a whole year in one month. And guess what? It happened. It happened. I put that in my goal. I want to make an entire year's income in one month. And then the next thing I knew, it happened. And since that day, well, actually since the day where I made, uh, you know, one month's income in one day, I was literally happy with that. So overjoyed because of, I thought of, man, that just saved so much work and all that heartache and headache and physical pain and all that. I'm like, I, I don't ever want to go back. So I've experienced, so I have like a real black and white um, viewpoint of this business because I have what I have to compare it for was treacherous work I, it was just it it was not easy and mentally and physically so as I sit in my bed watching movies on silent or look staring outside of the pool or whatever making a few phone calls doesn't occur to hard work to me it just doesn't. I, I just feel blessed that I'm able to do it like that. Um, but I will tell you, the first 90 days, which we're, we're still in that 90 day period for us, um, I'm pouring it on more than ever. It looks like those 100 hour weeks and constant because of this right here. Because I know if I put all my efforts into this right here and now at this point that it's going to benefit me for months and months and months and hopefully years and decades down the road and for all the people that says well i don't know this kind of business doesn't work you know it seems like you've been through a couple companies and guess what they're right gene and i have been through a couple companies um you could say we're failures even but we're still wake up in the morning in our pajamas the entire time when we're done sleeping and do the same thing I just told you about. Make a few phone calls. We do a couple webinars a week. And whether the company failed or not, this industry works. We still managed to live this extraordinary lifestyle that's just still unbelievable to me. Every day I wake up pinching myself thinking, man, I'm so blessed I don't have to do construction anymore. I, and, and now it's been so long, I look back and I think, I don't even know how I ever did it. I remember there were days driving down the road when I was daisy chaining jobs together, meaning I had like not just one project, I had like five different customers. And it was me and a crew of guys that I didn't know which day they were gonna show up on you know, if they showed up at all. And I had to figure out and manage like all these different things. And I remember driving down the road and like I had in my steering wheel, like I grabbed it so tight, I literally warped my steering wheel from stress. And I remember having panic attacks thinking, oh my gosh, how am I gonna make it through the end of the day, much less the week? How am I going to do this? I don't know how I'm going to, like, I, I was so stressed 
Like I, I, I wanted to just be somewhere else like that Southwest commercial. Like I just wanted to just pick myself up and put myself on a beach somewhere and not have to think about anything because I was so stressed out. And that's still like, I don't forget coming from that. And I'm, I'm, I thank God that I don't have to do that anymore today. In fact, I'm so passionate about it. I'm willing to get a little rough and tough with people uh, because I know they're experiencing those kinds of things right now, today. I get it. I understand it. So for, so, so here's the thing. People tell me, Hey Kelly, you know, uh, this sounds great. You know, I, I work so hard all the time and I'm busy with the kids and I got a coach soccer and football and we're part of our church and I just really want to free up some more time so I could be with my family more. And I'm like, great, let's get you started. So they do, they get started. And then like three weeks later, I call them up. I'm like, hey, you know, like I'm just here for support. You know, I, I noticed that you dropped off some of the calls. You know, what can I do to help you? Well, you know, Kelly, but I'm coaching sports and, you know, I'm active in my church. And so, and I say, so basically all the reasons you wanted to do this are the reasons you're not doing it. That's a net zero game. So you can't have the sweet without the sour, baby. You can't. You're going to have to sacrifice something in that craziness that's going on in order to make a change. Otherwise, you're literally kidding yourself. You know, I, if I'd have known, I'd have said, don't join because nothing's going to happen. If you're going to use the excuse as the same reason you want to do it, how does that make sense? How do, It doesn't. People, so listen. I, I'm going to assert that most of you have all people that are just like I described. Um, you can't make them wrong. You can't make them feel bad because people are struggling out there. Like literally, they, some people won't even admit to how bad it is they're, what's going on. And, but, and here's the thing. We have a, a solution for it. It's not going to be, it's going to be harder for them, by the way. Some people have it a little bit easier because they have a little more time and even income to get bigger package, whatever. So, and that's nobody's fault. It just is what it is. But in order to help people, um, you can't be always the nice person. All right. Because nobody wants to upset anybody, right? Like, I, I truly think that human beings love other human beings. Like, that's at the core. Like, I don't think anybody wants to go out of their way to make somebody miserable. And usually if they do, that's because somebody did that to them. And they're, they're passing that on um, because they don't know how to deal with it. But ultimately, we want to help people. And if you really, truly want to help somebody, that does include a little bit of confrontation. Not like, hey, idiot you know, why aren't you doing this? More like, listen, reminding them of you got going, and by the way, we're still right here. Like you got going with this, and I understand that like things got in the way, and most people say, well, you know, life happens, right? I'm like, yeah, well, your life that you want's not happening. And so that's not a life in my world. Because looking back, like I was just a robot. You know, I got up at four in the morning, you know, went and got my Diet Coke, went and started my truck because it's negative 30 degrees in Kansas where I live. And I waited half hour for that warm up. I got in, I jumped in my truck. Then I went and saw my family at Lowe's because I saw them the most. I called them my family. They literally, all the guys that worked at Lowe's, they opened up the store just for me at 6 a.m. when they really open at 7 because I was family, because I spent more time with those guys than I did my actual family. And then I worked my butt all, all day long, 
I got done at five and then I had to go do some bids for jobs for the future. So even though I'm not done with this, I had to think that far in advance. So I didn't have a day without work. Cause then if I didn't have that, my guys would leave and they go find somebody else. Then I wouldn't have guys do the job I'm doing cause they would be worried. And then I would get home probably about eight o'clock at night. I'd eat something, put my daughters to bed. And then I'd spend, go down to my little office and type out bids till about one in the morning, fall asleep for three hours and do that all over again. That's not a life. So when people ask me, wow, you seem kind of passionate about this. Yeah, I am. That was horrible. I can't believe I did it. I don't know how I, looking back, I don't know how I made it from day to day. But I see people today, I see people on this team that want something different but there's just their life <laughs> is in the way of them getting that. And we're here, right? We're okay. We're sponsors. We're, you know, upline, whatever you want to call it. But the first thing we are is human. It, and our, our duty is to help somebody realize this advantage first. Like, listen, I know that you, you know, you're going through some rough patches, but you got to relate to them and say, Hey, so did I. And I didn't, you know, my belief was like here when I started and now it's like here because there's something called results like four times a month, not just once, four times a month, we get this massive result called income. And it still amazes me. Every time we close a week, I'm like, I, I can't believe it. I, I, I feel like I didn't even do anything. You know, I'm still getting paid. And, you know, I, but I want everybody, and I know not everybody's going to take this advantage, but I'm imploring everybody to just take a hard look at where you want to be, like ultimately, and where you're at now. And if you keep doing this, just re revolving, doing the same old, same old, same old, same old, and then, you know, calling it something different. Well, I'm gonna clean my desk off one more time, and then maybe somebody will call me and join my business. It's just not gonna happen. Um, and I know people that like, they've, they've arranged everything, you know, they got a new hat to wear, the lucky hat maybe might do it, I don't know. But just don't kid yourself. What's required here? from you so, because your team needs to see you do this, right? And I've always said, I'm never gonna ask anybody to do anything that I will not do myself. And I said that to the guys when I was in construction. I had my hand, I remember my arm down a toilet all, without a glove on, fishing something out like I, to get the job done. Cause I didn't have time to go, go down to the store and buy something or even a bag to cover it, I just did it. You know, whatever was required, I just did it. And I didn't expect anybody to do it if I didn't do it myself. And I made sure they saw me do it. But you got to make sure that your team sees you doing the thing. Making the calls. Checking in on the webinars and the trainings. This isn't a do as I tell you. And I get to go do whatever I want. And I get residual income from that. This is... You know, you got to charge the hill and be the guy up in the first person in front. Always in front. And when you do that enough, here's what will happen. What will happen is people are going to go, wow, they're committed. Their commitment level is so high. Like my belief is going up because of their commitment to myself and the team. Here's the problem I can't tell you. I wish I could solve this riddle. There's this timeline that happens when people realize your commitment and their belief goes up. So, and, I, and sometimes it's this short, but sometimes it's this long too. I just don't know. But the thing that has to remain the same is you being committed to doing the actions as much as you possibly can. If it's part-time for you, um, I get it. Guess what? It's, it's kind of part time for me because I promise you, I don't get up at four in the morning and get home at nine o'clock at night 
do, you know, working my butt off. I don't do that. I used to do that. And you know, that, that's what I got for that, that with no thanks whatsoever. And now I do not even a 10th of that, but I still do it every single day. Every, I'm always looking for that next opportunity to talk to somebody because that's what's required. Now, more than ever, people want to read. You know what I learned Friday night at our Halloween party? I learned that people just could not wait to get around other people and just communicate. Like we were talking about uh, webinars and this online, everything anymore. And they're like, yeah, I'm kind of done with that. I just want to reach out and touch somebody. I can't remember who's, what is that? AT&T's commercial, um, reach out and touch somebody. Well, they physically want to reach out and t touch somebody because they were just over it. And they, they just wanted to be surrounded by people. And guess what? They, they listen to everything. I'm like, hey, well, I got something to tell you about. <laughs> Since you haven't talked to anybody, you know, I have something, let me bring this up. Um, but the, the thing is, is you all said yes. And everybody here that's on this, because if you said no, then you wouldn't be here. But you said yes. To me, I take that as a yes. Now, I'm sure that and there's been times in your life where you said yes and you did no. Right? Like, oh yeah, you know, I'm gonna work out every single day. That's my New Year's resolution and I'm never gonna stop. And like three days in, you're like, oh uh, no. I don't think I'm gonna do that anymore. All right, well, this isn't working out. But to me, you're here because you said yes. And that means that you're committed, not committed 1%, not 27%, not 80%, but like 100% committed. And what that looks like is you make sacrifices in between your part-time doing this, if you are doing it part-time, if you're doing it full-time, then you're helping those people who are part-time. But here's what I learned about people this entire time I've been in this industry is the busiest people, the busiest people, the ones that have full-time jobs and everything, they actually tend to do the best. You know why? Because they get become extremely efficient and effective at the same time. And because of that, they're not wasting their time on the no people or the, oh, Oh, let me see. Or, you know, they're not sending them 500, you know, text to watch a video. They pretty were clear. They didn't want to see it after the second time and they move quickly and they get, they literally build up it, their own jargon for the, the business. And they just keep be repetitive on that. They find something that works and they keep doing that and they become effective sifting, sifting through people. And that's what we're doing. We're just sifting. People are going to say yes. Some are going to say no. They're, they're, some people mostly have people that say no right now. But don't worry that some people will say yes at some point in time. That's up to you. And, and you just need a, a one win. One win for most people does it. All right. If you don't have a win, you've heard me say, then reach out and call me and let's work on that. Right? So because... There's people that can help you with that. And it might, I, I think that most people are Ferraris that need a little fine tuning, right? So you already have this, you're on here. You've, you've probably looked at all the materials. You've gone through the units. You've read all Eric Worre's books and, and, you know, Big Al and Todd Falcone. And if you haven't, then you should get on that yesterday. Um, but if you've done all those things, they didn't write those books just so like, like it was some novel you sit on the beach, you're like, oh, wow, this is how Todd talks to people. That's cool. No, that's for you to learn how to actually go take what you learned and then apply it uh, in your conversations, right? It wasn't just a fun thing that they do um, to entertain you. That was like, hey, and what I've always done is read a paragraph or a chapter, and then I stop and I go use whatever I learned immediately before I forget the jargon 
that they were talking about, and it always works. And I get fired up too when I do it. So my invitation for you guys, all right, because we're getting close to the to an hour here. So I'm going to wrap this up. I, my invitation is to really take a look at your level of commitment. Do you think you can improve it? And I don't know what that is. I can't. It, I I wish I could figure out what that is, and then I could talk about it. But I really don't. And that's based upon I know people are struggling. Like, and I know the struggle. And I'm, uh, and I'm here because I want to help people not be in that struggle. Like, it sucks. And it, yeah, I hate it when I see people like, and especially when I have an answer, and I, I even tell them, listen, man, I remember being exactly in your position. And look at me now, man, I, I, I made, I changed one thing, you know, my thinking. And like, things really worked out because of that. But people are stuck. And if you're one of those people that are a little stuck and you need more belief, then try just taking more actions and making it not about you, not about your business. Just make it about helping people. Helping people realize there's something better for them on the other side of the struggle. Because otherwise, it's just doing the same old definition of insanity, doing the same thing over and over, expecting a different result. And we see that all the time. We do that same thing. You know, we, some of us are wired to do that. And you really have to work hard to unwire that so that you can move forward and elevate instead of rotate. And the rotating people, they just keep going like this. Oh, whoop. You know, and they have these little tiny moments, but the rest of it is just hell for them. Like they just, I don't even know how they keep going. Um, but we can help. We definitely have something that we can help. And you can help yourself by having conversations with yourself. I know that sounds funny. Um, to figure out what it is that's stopping you. What's that roadblock right now that if you removed it, is going to make an absolute difference in your business right now? Like what needs to happen right now that's going to make a difference for you and what's in the way? Is it your belief? Is it your level of commitment? Is it that you haven't tried the product enough? Is it you need more information? You can only answer that. I can't answer that. But once you answer that, then take some action on, on that and either figure, it out, figure out what it is and then commit to making a change, like with action. Like if it's you got to read a book or you got to do some more studying or you got to hang out with your upline or you got to be on a webinar or you, you need to read this gigantic book right here on the product to become a, you know, neuroscientist um, on every detail. I don't know what that is. You do. But I'm, I'm going to assert that most of it is that you've already convinced yourself to a degree, wow, this is kind of hard. And man, a lot of people said no. And I don't really want to look stupid. And because people aren't responding like I want them to. And I wish they would just say yes. Like, so, by the way, raise your hand if you don't want that to happen. You don't want somebody to just say yes all the time. But here's my promise. Keep doing this, all right? You got to keep being willing to let go of some of your belief systems and things in your head, the, the, the roadblocks that are in your way. And it does get easier. You will get more yeses until people will start searching you out and you don't even have to ask. They'll, they'll be looking for you because that moment's coming. It's going to come sooner than later because judging by the numbers so far in the first three months, this is exploding. And you all are doing a great job because the team's growing every day, every single day. So you guys are really getting it out there. You know, there's no way that we, we look at this and the, we look every day. It's exciting to see something. It's like watching a, a, a tree grow 
you know, uh, for a hundred years, but you're watching it happen in, in like 30 minutes. Um, where they, where they just took a picture a day for a hundred years and you just see it go, whoop. it's amazing. So I'm going to, I'm going to conclude this training, but I want you to, I want you to do me a favor and reach out to somebody on your team and either clean up something that either you said wrong or is missing or you owe them an apology or you just wrote them off because you know, you thought they didn't take enough action. So you're like, oh, I'm, I'm going to talk to that person on and just invite them to participate. That's it. Just say, hey, you know what? I, I, I've kind of forgot, you know, I didn't know if you're really into this or not, but I just don't want anybody to miss out on what's happening. And I want to invite you just to be on the next Tuesday webinar and see if you can bring somebody with you. That's it. Or if you have people on your team that are brand new, invite them to get trained, right? They expect it, by the way, they actually want it. Nobody wants to go out there and just guess, you know, <laughs> at, at what needs to happen. So invite them to train. They're, 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 people want to do something. We all want to be physically fit and eat healthy, but we don't, right? Until somebody kind of shakes us up a little bit and goes, hey, you might want to like be a little bit more fit or think about, you know, you're exercising and diet. And then you kind of go, oh, okay, yeah, you're right. Maybe you do it. Then you start taking some action. Well, people need a little prodding. They, you know, not a ton, just a little bit. So, so reach out to somebody that you haven't talked to in a while and just give a little nudge and be an invitation to participate with what this team is doing because we got a lot of stuff happening. We got the calls in the morning. We got the webinar tomorrow, uh, month, Tuesday night. Um, we got trainings Wednesday night. There's almost something every day of the week, just about. Fridays, I think we have off. We, we don't do a lot on Fridays. So one day, practically, we don't do a whole lot on Fridays. Oh, I take that back. There is a webinar on Friday by Curry and Scott. So I know Julia's doing one on Thursday. Nod your head, Julia. Thursday at 3. So there's, there's almost something happening every day of the week for you all to participate in. And if there's not, then I'm inviting you to do it. I'm inviting you to step up and be that person to, and fill in the gap. We need you. There's not going to be enough people at, at a certain point in time. So we need you to be able to step up and do, do a training, do, do a webinar. And, and by the way, if you're not good at it, none of us were. Maybe not, I think Julia and Tina were perfect at it the first day. They're like, they're, they're the lucky people. But I know I could barely say my name on my first one. And it was a phone call. You couldn't even see my face. It was just a conference call. I remember shaking. <laughs> there was two people on the other end of the line. It was funny looking back. But anyway, so I'm going to wrap it up. I really thank everybody for being here. Don't forget the time change really on the uh, team page, all those times are still the same for whatever time zone you are. We're just adjusting for you guys. So <laughs> it's, you guys has changed times, but our time changed, but, which is weird still. All right. Thanks for, for being here, guys. We're going to log out and we'll see you uh, Tuesday.